Hi everybody, it's Marcy and today is Friday. Yay! Got a fun weekend ahead with nothing to do, but it's supposed to be gorgeous so I hope you guys get out there. Um, okay, today I'm going to be making, I made the chocolate cupcakes before, I made them ahead of time because you need to do that for this. Um, and again, I dumped in too much liquid. I was going to make half a batch, ended up making a whole batch again. Um, so, um, I'm going to show you all different kinds of ways that you can make these um, more special than they already are. I used our Dove Dark Chocolate Baking Mix. So easy. Add water, oil, eggs. How can it get better than that? <clears throat> okay. Oh, I was going to... I need more. I have got like at least four ways to do this. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is teach you about ganache. So ganache always sounds like so elegant, so hard and all of that. Um, it's really not. It's chocolate with cream. And it's, um, you just let the chocolate melt. I did a form of this earlier this week. So it's one to one. So for every ounce of chocolate you, may, you have, you need an ounce of milk. Of, this is heavy whipping cream. We're going to try it with this. Pour it on there, let it sit. And you don't need quite as much when it comes to the white chocolate. I'm gonna do a little bit less there. And <clears throat> that was probably the hardest part of the whole ganache. Okay, now we just let those sit, let it melt the um, bars. So I have, I chopped up our peppermint mini bar and our chef select chocolate bars. You just chop them up really small. The smaller you chop them up, the easier it's gonna be for that to melt. And then you get some um, heavy whipping cream, heat it up so it's pretty hot. I don't think you want a boiling, but close. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you some fun things to do with these cupcakes to change them up a little. First thing I'm gonna do, so easy. You know what, I'm gonna get rid of a bunch of these. I've got another plate of them over here, and I am certainly not going to decorate all of these right now. <clears throat> okay. Still not going to decorate all these, but we've got space to work. Um, okay, so uh, you know how you go places and they always have stuff in the cupcakes? How fun is that? So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take our sea salt almonds. And this would be really good if you stuck it in before you cooked it or right after you cooked it, but we didn't do that, so I'm just going to stick it in here. Now, that doesn't look so great. It's got this hole in it, but when we cover it up with icing, you'll never even know. So here, I'm gonna do a couple of those. And, you know, put whatever you like in here. If you like um, caramel, put some caramel in there. Um, something that I had never had before that I just discovered are Milky Way Simply Caramel. It's Mars caramel bars <laughs> covered in chocolate. They're fabulous. So you could um, cut up some of those, put them in whatever you want. Just be aware if you do it now, after they're cooled, they're not gonna melt. The other thing you can do is put in some mousse into the center, and that's real easy. You just jab the piper in there, and whoops, came out the top instead. Squeeze it in there. Uh-oh, that seems to be stuck. Okay, so you can pipe, let me see if I can try this a little bit better. I don't know why that is stuffed up. Um, oh, I've got a pin for just that. Okay, these things are awesome, but when they clog, there's no going back. Okay, there we go. So, oh, I see what it was. It was some of the cupcake. Okay. So I would maybe make that poke a hole in it with something else. And I just said that now I'm not gonna. Oh, but look, that worked. Okay, so we've got mousse inside of there. Now there's all different ways you can um, do this now. You can cover it with the mousse. which is again stepped up from the cupcake. 
I also have a bigger one of these. I'm not sure where it is. I couldn't find it. Okay, so cover that with the mousse. You can do a couple of those. Here, I'll do a different one so that everything's a little bit different. This is going to come shooting all over in a second. Yeah, it's definitely a cupcake that's stuck in there. Yeah, so go ahead and make the hole with something besides the nozzle to that. Okay, well here, we'll just take it from there. Okay, and we can spread it on with the spoon, not as smooth as, oh, I guess it's fine, as with, uh, with piping it. Okay, so we've got those, and now let's look at our ganaches. Um, here's the chocolate. Um, now the other thing you can do with this chocolate ganache is you can stick it in the refrigerator and then when it comes out, mix it up and it comes out in icing. There you go until that's really well mixed. Yeah, this will be like a shiny ganache on top of your cupcake. You can dip them, you can pour it over. Let's do the white chocolate peppermint. You guys know I love these. Love them for cooking. And this one's, I would probably um, let this sit in the fridge for a little while first before using it and Let's see. So the other thing, so I'm gonna do one where, oh, you can see it's already thickening up. And how's this guy doing? It's harder to tell with this because the white chocolate is so close to the cream color, although it is not pure white. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do on this. I'm gonna dip one and I'm gonna, um, I'm going to go over one. There's the dip. Hmm. Uh oh, that needs to be flat. And then here's one we're just going to drizzle. And you can do whatever you want. The dip probably is a little bit neater. Okay, so you can also pair these up and do like more than one thing on each one. So here we're going to, so we've got the um, almond in here. We're gonna fill that with a little bit of ganache. And do a little bit more. Okay, then we've got that. And now how are we doing on the white? Needs a little bit more cooling, but we're gonna go ahead. Here, let's do a dipping one. I like this one better to dip. Okay. So what I would do with these, uh-oh, it's falling out of its container. What I would do with these is I would dip it with that and then I would top it with something else maybe. You know, whether it's the mousse, some chocolate, and then the mint will go a lot farther. And the other, one more thing I want to do with this is take some of the chalk. Oh, you know what? I think I'll do the mint because that's the one that seems to be a little more thin. Okay, and I'm not going to do a whole lot because we don't need a lot for these little tiny cupcakes. And then I'm going to take a little tiny bit of frosting of our frosting mix, which is so good. Oh, I was going to do a cream cheese layer, too, for those of you who like cream cheese. I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit in there. And you can whip this up. You can um, just stir it, whatever you want. Um, like I said, I was going to do one where we had a layer of cream cheese, but I forgot about that. Didn't get the cream cheese out and softened. So we're not going to do that. 
Okay, and that's our buttercream frosting mix. And now it's buttercream peppermint frosting mix. And then I would drizzle that on top of whatever one you want. Here, let's do this one. And again, you can mix it better if you want. And we'll cover up, I can't remember what had the, here I think we're gonna cover this one up with a little bit of the mousse. Um, so, you know, mix and match. So you can have like two or three different icings on each one. They're all gonna be delicious. Um, none of the products are gonna be anything less than wonderful. So, whoops, you can see where I was. <laughs> No, nothing's going to be a little less than anything less than wonderful. I don't believe it. So um, please uh, have a great weekend. Stay safe. Um, please spread some love out there. Everybody needs a little love right now. If you know anybody who wants to do, I have a class coming up on our single origin bars again. We can take a little tour around the four regions that we do it. Oh, there was just an article in the paper about if you haven't tried chocolate from Ghana, now is the time. It's like a very hot thing right now. I love that our company is like up on that. And one of our single origin bars is from Ghana. So thanks for watching. And luckily I have somebody to take these two today. Have a good weekend. Bye.